Ew! What is that thing? Ah. Okay, well, welcome, welcome to Tales of the Bunny Man. This is meant to be, um, a FNAF 1 fan game, question mark? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. There are no settings. Oh well, new game. This feels like a 2015 fan game. Where uh, there's no settings to change. Oh, what the fuck? I'm at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's me, Larry. I'm at Freddy's. What? <laughs> it was once a place of joy. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, where, where's your evidence of that? Kids would come and go every day. Once again, where's your evidence of that? Hmm? And, um, there's a... Is that... Oh, that's a hallway. I thought that was a door for some fucking reason. That was smart. Oh, but some never left. They're in the suits. Mwah. <laughs> oh. Ew. Why do you guys look like you're made of wood? Ah, uh, yep, yep. Don't like that. Oh. Why does Chica have such a thick neck? Oh, Bonnie's gone. It doesn't matter how long it takes. I will find you and I will kill you. Or something. Foxy, what have they done to you? Why? Oh boy, what sharp teeth? Te the fuck? What sharp teeth do you have? I will have my daughter back. Uh. Okay. Tales of the Bunny Man. Okay, thanks, man. Um, that's very interesting and all, but uh. Why? To be honest, that was a pretty interesting intro. That was pretty cool. That gave some, like, super old FNAF vibes. Episode 1. Face it, kid. With a picture of Bonnie. What do you even mean? What? Tutorials. Use the comics to figure out how they behave. Bonnie. Today, Bonnie T. Bunny was on his way to see his good friend, Mendo. Who the fuck is that? It had been ages. He was really excited, but he knocked and knocked, but nobody answered the door. Crestfallen, whatever the fuck that word means. Bonnie returned home. Maybe Mendo was out for the day. He racked his brain, trying to think of where his friend could be. Uh, maybe running away from you, because you're such a bitch. Yar, here I come, Bon. I want those. I don't know what that says. Uh. I don't know what that says. What a suspiciously large present in the middle of this room, I wonder. But it'd be rude to open someone else's present. I should check the park. And then... Uh, Bonnie is hiding with anxiety. So it turns out Bonnie and Foxy are actually dating. And Foxy's crazy, so Bonnie's hiding. Um, how hasn't he found me yet? If he doesn't refresh that camera in time, I'm gonna get him. But first, it's time for me to refresh myself with my Freddy Faz soda. Get one of your own for only $2. $2 for a drink is cheap, man. You can't even get a bottle of water that cheap. Woo! Gah, he did it. Kaboom. So wait, so I meant to watch Foxy on the cameras, maybe? And hide in a present when he arrives. Okay? Oh boy, look at that on the bottom right. That's so creepy and terrifying. December 15th, 1985. Oh my god, why is my... Why is it turned so weirdly? Who the fuck is that? Is that... that is that... That kind of looks like, uh... Tobey Maguire from Spider-Man. Uh, don't forget your cameras. Uh... Okay, but why? Hello, who is it? Who's at the door? Okay, goodbye. Uh, the... 
the move it the it moves so weird. The screen. Okay, so there's Foxy. Uh there's Barney, Freddy and Chica. And there's uh somebody. Don't know who. What does that mean? I'm gonna hide. Hiding sounds like a good idea. What? Hello? Who is it? Who's at the door? Oh. It's nobody. Oh, Foxy's about to arrive again. Okay, Bonnie's in the dining area. That's... Why are you arriving again, Foxy? You son of a bitch. Why is Foxy the most aggressive one here? Ah. I think it's safe to leave now. Okay. Where's Bonnie? Where the fuck? Hold up. Ah, what? What when did that happen? I I hid from him. Bonnie's about to arrive. Ah, piss. Wait. Yes? Oh, goodbye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. The... Oh, he left. Huh, that son of a bitch. Okay, he's back in the dining area. Loser. So how do we know the difference between whether Foxy's... Oh. Uh, refresh. Ah. So that reset him. Okay. So there's different noises. Why? Why are you there, Bonnie? That can't even lead to me, you stupid idiot. Oh, wait. Refresh, idiot. Um, yes. Who is it? Who's at the door? Goodbye. Go fuck yourself. Light up. Fucking idiot. Oh, I win. 6 a.m. Best to go home and rest. But why am I here to begin with? Tomorrow is another day. What is that? Day 1, September 29th. Hey, that's... That's, uh... That's pretty... That's pretty close to my birthday. My birthday's in September. Why the long face, Jeremy? Why are we here? I thought it was just the night. What is this? Um... Is this gonna be like a... Is there gonna be a whole story thing too? No, oh, well. Uh, why the long face, Jeremy? Uh, that's funny of you to say. My face is massive. Thank you. I actually thought about that joke the entire ride here. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, is anyone hide? Is that purple guy? Why does your badge look so shit? Are you purple? Sir, sir, this is the news to interview you. Are you purple guy? Are you the one they call William Afton? Piss off! I'm just reporting the news! Don't be mean, William Afton. You're a big meanie. Don't tell me the piss off. Look, you made the poor kid cry, you... D d fuck. Also, is that Chuck E. Cheese poster over there? <laughs> is that Chuck E. Cheese? And then, is that a dog? And then Barney, and then Spring Barney, and then down the bottom. I can't tell whether that's Chuck E. Cheese or just a rat. I don't know. Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. Good. Fuck off. I fucking, I fucking hate kids. It's me, William Afton, and I hate kids, and that's gonna be my backstory because I got bitten on the finger by a kid once, so I hate every kid. <laughs> I'm playing hide and seek with my friends. Cool place to play it, right? Did you know if that big puppet thing in the middle of the prize corner walks? If so, where does it go? Um, I don't know. Everywhere, I think. Really? That made my brain go bam bam. What the fuck? What are you talking about? What has this turned into? This was meant to be a creepy 
game. You know, creepy, scary Five Nights at Freddy's, and now it's just turned into... That made my brain go bam bam. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> no, I haven't seen any of you Freddy maggots, thankfully. Oh, so mean. If you hate Freddy so much, then why are you here, you stupid idiot? You, are you just here to ruin everyone's day? Shit on these poor kids? You bitch. Get out of here. Go away. No, Nobody likes you. Wait a minute. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fucking damn it! What are you like? You're like 10. <laughs> that was a bit too obvious. Fucking damn it! Okay, we're back. Oh, it's Freddy. It's Bonnie. Is Bonnie looking at us more creepy? Staring right into his eyes. Bonnie and the gang are cool as always, but... Oh, no, okay, never mind. I guess I didn't... I guess I don't get a chance to read that. Okay, fuck you then. No reading for me. Oh, he's following the music for some reason. Hello? Hello? It's me, phone guy. Oh my God, is it, it's going to be purple guy. I like your whistling. <laughs> Maybe it's just the janitor. No, it's gonna be purple guy. He's got. He's. He's. I miss my mum. I hope she picks me up soon. Um. I knew it. It's purple guy. It's purple guy. It's purple guy. It's purple guy. Okay. Epi uh, epi yes. Episode two. Yes. Yes. Purple guy. Come on. S smile. Okay. Look at me. I'm smiling because I can smile. Okay. I'll give this one go. And, you know, if I win, then I win. But if I lose, we'll call it for this episode. Okay, Bonnie's still the same. Okay, Chica. Chica baked cookies for Mendo at Bonnie's request. Supposedly he was homesick, but cookies can make everything better. Knock, knock. But once again, nobody answered the door. He was probably so sick that he couldn't get up. And so Chica ended up leaving the cookies at the door. She would probably go get a doctor. Or, preferably, tell Freddy. Okay, so she does the same thing as Bonnie then. And Foxy's still the same. So it's just a harder version of Night One. You know? Well, you know, the first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, but, um, yeah. Woo! Oh boy, there I am, yet again. Oh boy. Is that Spider-Man? I, I need to get more pictures of Spider-Man, or whatever J. Jonah Jameson says. Might I add, it's only night two. Like, chill. Um... I'd like you to leave, please. Okay, goodbye. B I want I want Bonnie to get to the door before Foxy leaves. Cheek is back. Cheek is back. What the fuck? What the shit? Goodbye. Okay, Cheek is about to arrive. Foxy's active again. Oh my god, Foxy's gonna arrive one more time, isn't he? Oh, never mind. I win. Get fucked. Losers. Tomorrow is another day. Are we, <laughs> are we gonna get another one of those comic things? Day 2, October 7th. So, like a week later. Oh, so, but, oh, I see. So the way they're doing this is that each missing child is going to be different times sort of thing. So they're doing it so that, because it's, un, it's unclear in FNAF whether all five happen on the same day or whether they're spread out across the year. 
And it looks like this game's going down the route that is spread out across a year. Maybe Purple Guy was getting more angsty and was just like, I'm pissed off for some reason. And then, yeah. So, how's everyone doing? Uh, very interesting. Jeremy, the character we played as, is oddly not here. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder what could have happened to him. Maybe you guys want to check inside Borny? Like, maybe check inside his suit? Maybe, because isn't that what happens? They, they get put in the animatronic suits. When's Jeremy coming back? He isn't. He's dead. Something that's off about Bonnie. Mr. Afton is saying he's breaking a little too often. But I don't know <laughs> but I don't know why he doesn't let Henry see what's wrong. Oh, I wonder why. Eh? Maybe because your friend is in there. Oh, leave or stare. I'm gonna stare. I ch I'm gonna I'm gonna win the staring cost to wait fuck I'm gonna win the staring contest, Bonnie. Fuck, I blinked. I'm leaving. Favorite thing about Freddy's. Well, it's gotta be the prize corner right here. It's my own little place. Although I found something odd. Don't tell anyone this, kid. But I found this tape in one of them plushies. Thank you. Just keep that to yourself, alright? Where do I go? Where do I go to play the tape? Goodbye. Where, where do I go to play the tape? Where do I go to play the tape? Ooh, tape time! Spooky lore, what's gonna happen? Is this gonna be what- Is this gonna be what happened to Bonnie? 1981! Okay, this is something different. What is this? A meeting. Oh, brother, not a meeting. Ugh. With that being said, that's how I created it. What do you- Fascinating. Just really fascinating. Henry and I think you might be the, of great help to Fredbears. What? Thank you very much, Mr. Afton. Even though I came because of that living vacuum cleaner, I wanted to ask a question about... that. About what? Oh, this is inaudible. It is meant for my son. Oh, the Fredbear plushie! That is its name. Inaudible seems a little scary for a five-year-old. It wasn't supposed to be the permanent name, but David likes it. I was thinking about giving it some sort of suit. It's just a bear... Me I don't even know what that says. Be a bear mech at the moment. But he learns from David. Takes care of him. They have taken a liking to each other. Another member of the family to him. Wait, I'm so confused. I can barely read this. I hope it's coming up as better quality in the recording. Because I can barely read that on my screen. I have an idea. Okay, it is coming up better in the recording. Good. That's good. Your son loves it, right? Question mark. This is the most important thing for us. Bringing joy to all with our imagination. Your son bonding with a creation. What? Imagine if we could do the same to five or ten or damn, even a hundred children, Edwin. Children that don't have a friend or brother. What are you trying to say? Let's mass produce inaudible. William, with all due respect, it is made to help my son. He's a gift from me to him after his mother died. Do you... Do you think that would take away their magic? You made it with love. Imagine how many lonely children need a little buddy. A buddy made with love. Children who don't have a mother. Something to grow and learn with. My son. My son Kenny is lonely. So lonely. His own brother won't stop bullying him no matter what I try to do. And my wife is too busy taking care of Elizabeth. I just... Give me at least a week with this mech of yours. Let's see how my son will react. And if your magic manages to help him, how's that? Do we have a deal? Um... What the fuck is that? Thanks, Dad! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. So my theory on that. Either that's the Fredbear plushie, 
And that was the main character talking to William and Henry. Well, it's definitely the main character talking to William and Henry. I think. But they're either talking about the Fredbear plush. Or... <laughs> or... I don't know. As soon as they said mech, as in robot. Um... I started uh, going a little bit away from the Fredbear plush idea, and I don't know why, my, but my brain went to the Mimic. So, it's either them talking about the Fredbear plush, and that's why there's another Fredbear plush in this game that looks different, or they're talking about the Mimic. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, fuck, it's purple guy again. Hey, little bird, stay out of there. Scram! No entering unauthorized areas. Don't call me a little bird. Go fuck yourself. What the fuck? Ah, uh, Mr. Afton, don't scare me like that. <laughs> now, what's a missy like you doing snooping around a pirate's property? Why do you have a voice line and the rest don't? Also, why... Oh, get away from me! Ah! So wait, is, so is William Afton and Vincent different people? I thought, I, it just looked like they were the same person. Okay. Uh, how are you? My day is fantastic, like every day is. Michael, unfortunately, didn't get over his little prank. The bite of 87. It doesn't matter. I love him nonetheless. I'm proud of him. The bite of 87. The bite of 87. Quite the genius himself. Must have caught the Afton genes. <laughs> My family is quite rich in that. Metaphorically and quite literally. Okay. N no need to stroke your ego anymore. Jesus Christ. Not only do you talk quietly, but you also... Egotistical... Fuck. Okay, goodbye. No! No, no, you do not. You did no. I would actually like to have a No. No. I would No. I see okay, so you're gonna make me do all of them. Okay, what's your favorite thing about Freddy's? I think it has Don't care. To each their own. Get away from me! I'm leaving William Afton! Where have you been? Where have you been? Um, so, long story. Uh, I found a tape. I listened to the tape. It was really fucking weird. Then I went to Pirate's Cove for some reason. Then I talked to William Afton about farming. And... Elizabeth. And, uh, now I'm here. We've been waiting for ages. Sorry, I was just looking around, really. But, I just told you! I just told you what happened! Time to plunder your pockets. We've got a machinist to beat. Okay. I don't have any quarters. Sorry, me neither. It's fine. I've got some. Well, what are you waiting for? Let me have the booty. My money. My game. Sounds fair, I guess. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, shit. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's the end. Okay, great, thanks. Um, yeah, that's all the time I got for this one. That... That was pretty interesting. It's definitely way more eerie and creepy than FNAF games usually are. So, yeah. <laughs> and also, it's a little bit weird how it goes from this super creepy night system to just jump into a comic strip of them enjoying their day at Freddy's. But obviously, that will lead to Purple Guy doing the missing children's incident. But it'll be interesting to see how he does it, because... He took Bonnie, and then this was like a week later. 
Is he planning to try and take the other four at once? Or is he going to do the same thing where he kills one of them and then waits a bit? Or, or I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how that develops. So, yeah, that'll be where we leave it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And, goodbye.